welcome back to my channel Don Marie here and today girl we are about to read some hate comments now I know that these people can get very crucial I'm not supposed to care which I really don't but sometimes these hate comments get to you and sometimes they get to your head you have to just make humor out of them so that it doesn't bother you as much making humor out of the situation for me actually like helps me cope with the things that people say to me although being on YouTube for about like three to four years has actually really helped me like cope with the things that people say to me it's all the same stuff which I'm sure you guys can assume what they'll say about me but today I'm gonna be reading off some hate comments and just like giving my opinion on what these people have to say about me they're still watching my videos is what I don't get like you hate me but you're watching my content weird flex but okay go off sis sorry if you guys hear background noise as well like my mom is talking on the phone and gossiping with her girlfriends very well please. also hello to all my new subscribers welcome to the family we all love you here thank you so much for subscribing if you guys haven't already please hit that notification bell it does help you receive notifications when I post because YouTube's algorithm gets all messed up sometimes so make sure to do that are we digging this new hair color I'm sure you guys love it because I love it. So the first hate comment says, why is the trans community under the impression that their movement is above everyone else's wants and feelings? What makes you so special and important? It's not that we think our movement is more important and more special than other people. I think that it's such a high rate of murder, such a high rate of people being unemployed because of who they are, people being told they can't go to a specific restroom because of who they don't choose to be but who they unapologetically are. We are always discriminated against. We are a minority. Us having this movement is just us trying to prove to the world that we're human. We are exactly who we say we are. Like seriously, most people don't even know a trans person when they see one. We're all over the place. Our movement is no more special than the Me Too movement, the Black Lives Matter movement, and so much more. We're not more important. Our movement actually like has been speaking volumes this year and so many people have been finding out like oh what trans is and finding out that transgender is actually a thing because it's such a high volume this year like seriously it's trans this trans that trans this trans that everywhere they're really out there trying not to give us the same rights as everyone else if you think that this movement is us trying to make it seem like we're more special or better than anyone else then you're the problem okay the next hate comment says, this clown is mentally ill, male in drag, and not a female. Ooh, emphasis on the not, y'all. Objective facts do not disappear just because your subjective feelings wish they would. Okay, severe mental illness on parade. While there are only two genders, intersex is a birth defect. The activists always end up driving off a cliff with their theology, declaring oneself trans and making videos begging people to like the changes induced by drugs, surgeries, or just plain old dress up has become a fad. These people have no other talent except being trans or pretending to be so, and thus, it is the only thing they have to sell trying to be a YouTube star. A mental disorder has been turned into a freak show as the trans entertainers try to out bizarre each other. Funny and sad. First of all, I've said this so many times, not a male, don't do drag. If I were to walk into a men's restroom, I would be looked at weird, which I've accidentally done it before, and they were like, oh, whoa, 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 miss, what are you doing in here? Saying that trans people talking about their transition online is us using our transition to be a YouTube star and thinking that that's the only thing that we have got going for us. The reason I make videos about like my transition, updating you guys on surgeries and hormone updates and stuff like that is to educate. I know that not only trans people watch my videos and people actually learn so much from videos like that, educating you on the hormones, the surgeries, etc. I know that people who are just coming out as trans who need that kind of advice come to the YouTube channel to get that kind of advice. You know what I mean? So it's very, very helpful. It's not just to try to be a star. You know what I mean? It's to actually help people out. Next comment says, Afrikaner man, a man. <laughs> yes, if he sleeps with you, then yes, he is gay. He is a man, trans man. Ah, did it's really obvious that you are a man. Trust me, you look in your essence is men sis okay you don't make any sense you must not be from here okay I'm, that's what I'm gonna take from this on a video where I was saying why cis men are afraid to date transgender women this ignoramus decided to comment because they aren't gay honestly look at me 
do you think a gay man would be attracted to this? This is what I try and prove to so many people. A gay man is not going to be attracted to this, sis. All this hair, the makeup, the fucking femme, all that, like no. All this womanly, vivacious, bodaciousness, a gay man is not going to be attracted to that, okay? If a gay man is truly gay, he is going to like a man. I am not a man. I do not look like a man or anything of me is a man. Okay, so let's get one thing clear. I've literally had so many gay guys come up to me and be like, girl, you're gorgeous. If I was straight, I would date you. You don't need to know how many straight guys I've had or done things with, but because it's none of your business. But only straight men are attracted to me and they're not gay. All of them straight, so. On my video where I was talking about the benefits of dating a trans woman, the person says, you are a homosexual. That is bad for men. Okay, so homosexual men are bad for other homosexual men? Okay. On my story time where I, on the D, the person says, no one will ever accuse you of having too much class. Pass me the sick bag. <laughs> Okay, that's actually really funny because this person's like actually very very salty like it's clear that they were really having a bad day I don't know who puts salt in your sugar flakes, sweetie, but All transgender people are narcissists. Me, 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 my feelings. Me, me, my rights. Me, me, me. No, sweetie. We are not narcissists. We are a minority and we are very talked about upon in a negative way. It didn't have to be so me, 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 my feelings, my rights, this and that if we weren't being discriminated against, being fired for being who we are, being kicked out of places for being who we are, you know, being hurt and killed for being just simply who we are. We know these bad things happen to people on the daily, but you know, more often than not, it's happening to us, so. Simply because who we are. There's all these hate comments are about me being trans, like, Honestly, that's all they have to say. That's the only ammo they have, really. On my video of benefits of dating trans women, they said, this is some sick shit right here. You are not a woman. Yeah, okay. On my switching my voice prank on monkey app video, the person put in all honesty, this is why men with identity disorders, referring to me, have noting in common with actual women. Actual women are not sitting around online doing such things. This is something that only men would do for kicks and sport. For your information, a cisgendered, which means natural born female, was the originator of this trend where you would change your voice up on boys on the monkey app and then get the reaction on it and make a video out of it. On my would I date a transgender man video, which I walked on so many eggshells for to be honest because I did not want to infant anybody, which I believe I did quite successfully, but you know, someone's always going to find something to, you know, have a problem with or something that they didn't like. There's always gonna be somebody to point out something that went wrong in the video. This is what this person had to say. So you like trans men, but when it comes to sex, if they still have a vagina, you wouldn't have sex with because it's a preference. But when a biological man doesn't wanna have sex with you because you have a penis, they should overlook it. Such a contradiction. Yes, I stated that it is scary for me if a transgender man has a vagina still because I'm not attracted to it. And it would in terms like, you know, eventually make the relationship just fade away and die down and I just wouldn't be able to do it. That is my preference. Now, in other videos, I've stated that if a man does not want to sleep with me, even though I have a penis, it would not bother me because why? It's his preference. I have my preferences, everyone else has their preferences. If they're okay with sleeping with me, even though they know the parts I have between my legs, then so be it. And if they don't want to, so be it. I'm never gonna force anyone to do what they don't want to do. So I simply don't understand what this ignoramus was talking about because I've never once mentioned that, you know, I would force a guy to sleep with me even though he didn't like the parts that were between my legs. Like, Come on now, girl. On a video where I was saying benefits of dating trans women, this woman responded, you are not better than real women. You are not more feminine. You are wearing a costume at all times. God created female and males. Please pray for yourself. You are copying 
made up version of womanhood. Makeup, fake breasts, and hair and eyelashes does not make someone female. According to this video, a trans is basic B who will take any treatment up the poop shoot. Obviously, she didn't like the things that I had to say in that video, which is completely fine. You're entitled to your opinion, sweetie. But um, this kind of behavior just shows that you're being very jealous. You're being very spiteful and you're being facetious but you know what that's okay because it's clear that you're a hater and I'm just gonna go to the next comment because all the things you said are buffoonery and should be shoved up your ass but you know what we're not gonna be violent today so that's all right we'll just move on to the next comment next comment says date a trans woman you will likely contract HIV because they are really nothing more than gay men in dresses the truth hurts oh my goodness <laughs> You just hurt my feelings so badly. You're so rude. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? You sound stupid because not all trans women take it up the ass because uh, there are a lot of trans women who are post-op, meaning they now have a vagina. You can't contract HIV from being in a relationship unless one of the other has HIV and gave it to you. HIV just can't create itself within two people who are doing anal and don't have HIV. It just doesn't work that way, sweetie. I'm so sorry to break it to you. I'm so sorry to bust your bubble, but it's just the reality of it all. If you're afraid, you're, you're probably closeted and you probably want to try it and you've probably been denied by so many beautiful trans women with penises and you're just mad because they don't want your ass. Okay, so anyways, next. <laughs> I don't know if this is a hate comment, but I feel like this is what you tell someone when they're really ugly. They have nothing else going for them, so you're like, you're a good person. You have a good spirit in you. <laughs> you know how like when you see an ugly baby and you're like, oh, his hair is nice. Wow, such long eyelashes. Good for everything else to beat around the bush about why they're not cute. So this hate comment, so irritating. It says, stop blaming everything on society. Society loves you these days, but straight men are just international born women. And that should be no offense to you and other trans women because there are plenty of non-straight men who will knowingly date you. First of all, like I said in previous comment, only straight men are attracted to me. Please name me a gay guy who would be attracted to this. Absolutely none. And gay men who watch me, because I know there are some, Please let me know if you date me, because I'm sure I'm everything you ever wanted in a man. We don't blame everything on society, but you know, a lot of the reasons why trans women are looked down upon as a society, so what do you mean? We're not blaming everything on society. We're telling you how it is. We're saying society is doing this to us. Society is making this and putting all these words and names and things on us. You know, we're not doing, we're not blaming society for anything. We're just telling you the facts, sweeties. Obviously, you don't do your research. Society does love us because they're infatuated by us and because we're high in the market right now. The LGBT community is used for a lot of brands to promote their shit and to like make them sell more in high value in which they probably don't even really support the LGBT plus community for real for real they just want to make some profit but you know that's the tea for another day yes I agree with you that men are into natural women but men are also into transgender women some men that I've never thought would be into transgender women actually are if you see me and you don't know I'm trans you just see a beautiful woman in public you know walking around you'd be like oh that girl's beautiful you know simply because I represent a woman and I am a woman and everything about me from the inside out is a woman, then a man is going to be attracted to me. He can't help it. Sorry to burst your bubble. I've taken no offense to what you said because I know where I stand and with straight men who want me, so it don't matter. It don't matter what you got to say. You can join all the other bigots sitting over here. Oh, oh hey guys, you're... you're what was that? You're still mad? You're still salty? Oh, but no one cares, so. I like women how get periods. Period. Well, if you learned how to spell who, maybe these women would like you back, so. The next comment is so funny. It says, hell not main. I followed you on IG and clicked on your YouTube link and you a whole tranny. The fuck I'm out. But I bet he's still actually watching this video. Hi, Angel Zavala. I'm so glad you're still following me and watching my videos. You're so sweet. 
it doesn't matter that I'm trans. You're still attracted to me. The reason you clicked on my IG, seriously, my on my whole Instagram it says trans this, trans that, hashtag this, hashtag trans that. You know, so it's like I don't see how you missed it. It's just clear that you knew and you still liked it anyway. So, on my benefits of dating as a trans woman video. Um, someone put, you should at least be somewhat attractive to talk on this subject. Hint, you're not. Hint, bitch, you're a hater because I'm beautiful as shit and you're mad. You're talking shit behind the screen and your default picture is not even of you, so you can show the fuck now. Thank you. All right, guys, so that's all the hate comments I have for today. <laughs> These people really be getting out of hand. And if you've noticed, everything is either about my appearance or me being transgender. Like, they literally have nothing else to come up with because I'm succeeding in every other you know area they want to just come at me my appearance my physicalities my big hands you know my hands are actually very decently sized for you know my height and everything in my body frame I'm 5'10 my hands are thin and long okay it's normal for tall women and my hands look elongated when I have acrylics on so please go to hell thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for my new subscribers i really do love you guys i'm so happy you decided to join the family after i basically forced you to subscribe to my channel but um yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching please sound off in the comments below have a good night or a day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.